Hello everyone. If you haven't heard already, Splash Damage recently addressed many of the complaints we've had in regards to the new crafting system, and they're determined to revamp it so that it becomes more enjoyable for us to use. Currently, it offers no feeling of progression, and it also makes buying elite cases much more unappealing, and they're asking the community for their feedback on what sort of thing that they would like to see with an updated version of the system. So, if you haven't yet, go check out their video, which I'll link to on screen and in the description, or tweet at them with some of your ideas. As for myself, personally, Personally, I'm actually not opposed to the system itself, it's just the execution that got to me. The values and costs of each craft are very near to the same values as previous if you want to compare the costs from scratch, but the huge oversight on how the majority of players actually or want to craft their cards is what cause the outrage, I think, anyways. So what would my compromise be? Well, I'm probably not the guy you want to talk to about numbers, but my ideal system would consist of the best of both worlds. I can still trade up my old unwanted cards to the next highest rarity, or I could scrap a ton of cards for fragments in order to jump straight to the rarity that I want, and this new system would have to keep in mind the fragments you receive for recycling cards should be near or equal to the card's value when trading up to its next highest rarity. Like I said, I'm not the guy you you want to talk to for numbers, but just for the sake of argument, let's say a Cobalt Loadout costs 6,000 fragments to craft, or 6 gold cards to trade up. Each gold card should then recycle for 1,000 fragments, since if you scrap those 6 gold cards, you would have enough to craft a Cobalt. Makes sense, right? The problem then arises as to the credit cost. The current cost for credits in the crafting system is another huge drawback, forcing players to either grind credits for much longer than they would have with the old trade-up system, or spend money on crafting kits, considering how difficult they are to come by, at least during the time of recording this commentary. I think the best compromise would be to lower the credit costs when trading up to the values they used to be or near to what they were with the previous trade up system, and the credit costs for crafting should still be higher than the trade ups, but still not as high as 50,000 credits for a cobalt. I say this because you have to take into account how many credits a user has spent while trading up to, say, 6 gold cards, and if they want to recycle those 6 golds to use the fragments along with some weapon kits to craft a cobalt. Speaking of weapon kits, considering just how insanely difficult it is to obtain these things at the time of recording this, 45 weapon kits for one cobalt is kind of ridiculous. Unless there are near future plans to increase the income number of weapon kits, this number of 45 per cobalt should be reduced, at least until there is a better and more reliable way to obtain them. But back to the argument of reducing credit costs, let's use another hypothetical scenario. The RNG aspect of Elite cases are far too great to consider buying them for any specific card, so my understanding is that the greatest value associated with them is to recycle or trade up the cards you received for a better chance at something you want, and let's face it, anyone willing to buy enough Elite cases to do that are looking to make a Cobalt card, and currently 50,000 credits is just too much. Let's observe the old trade-in system versus the new crafting system and compare those individual values. Previously, you could trade in two cobalts along with 24,000 credits for a brand new cobalt. It was simple and straightforward. But now with the crafting system, you need the fragments from two cobalts and then some, plus 50,000 credits. That's just way too much to ask for, and part of the reason why I asserted in my previous rant videos that the value of cobalts has been dramatically overinflated. Or at least over-exaggerated. Anyways, I don't want to begin repeating myself from before, but I did want to provide a suggestion on how I think the current crafting system could be improved, as well as my argument on why credit costs are much too high with the current system, and why they should be toned down with any changes that may occur in the future. Currently, the crafting system relies too heavily on expecting players to start from complete scratch, recycling primarily only lead cards, and doesn't take into account the paying customers without expecting them to either pay more for crafting kits, or to play for more than double the time they would have had to previously. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you have any suggestions or ideas yourself on how the crafting system can be improved, feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video, but until then, as always, take care everyone.